vitality, energy, and serotonin. It's something that we all want for ourselves, for our partners, and for our children. And it's my job today to share with you how we can get it through the simple act of eating. I love food, and let's bring back the love of food. I want to share with you some nutritional truths and learn how to eat our way to happiness. We've got one out of four people in Australia and America suffering from being overweight, obese, or diabetes, or diabetes. These all link to have links to cancer, autoimmune, cardiovascular disease. There's nobody in this room that is immune from not knowing many, several of the, those people. We have one out of 10 people suffering with some type of mental or cognitive dysfunction. We may laugh when we look at the photo of the person with brain fog, but we don't laugh at the person with ADHD or the child with autism or the person with Parkinson's, dementia, or Alzheimer's. We have one out of five teenagers as well as adults suffering from crippling conditions like anxiety and depression. I am not against modern medicine. I work with lots of doctors, but what I am all for is looking at what's below the surface of some of these health conditions. We've got crazy stuff going on in the physical world, epidemics. We've got crazy stuff going on in the mental world, but what is happening to our emotional health? What is happening with all these self-esteem bombs from physical and mental? What's happening to our emotional resilience? It's difficult for us as adults, but what about our poor kids? Then we have this person, the tired but wired person. It might be you. The person that goes along all day grumpy and moody, really grumpy and moody, thinking, oh, I have iron deficiency. Oh, I might have menopause. The reality is you get into bed and your mind is going like this. That really leads to big disruptions in your metabolic profile and your hormones. Here's the good news. Food, the simple act of eating three times a day, five times a day, can really help improve your sleep, your skin, your heart, your thyroid, every organ in your body, the physical shape of your body, your mind, your concentration, your hair, your teeth. Stay on the vanity parts when you're talking to your kids. What do we need to do? We need to have whole, real food, unprocessed, unpackaged most of the time. A combination of fat for the brain, protein for the immune system, and complex carbohydrates to fuel the brain and the body. Where do we go wrong? In the crazy world of complex carbohydrates with a massive amount of added sugar in our diet. The World Health Organization, not Michelle Chevalier Hedge, the top scientists in the world say six to nine teaspoons of added sugar is enough in our diet daily. Most of us are having between 30 and 40 added teaspoons, not natural sugars. Let's look at food like this, twigs versus logs. Twigs are fast burners, lollies, flavored milks, flavored waters, lots of added sugars. They make our blood sugar go like this. Logs, on the other hand, complex carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vegetables, they balance our blood sugar. Twigs make us hangry, hungry and angry. Moody, brain fog, low vitality, low nutrients, low vitamin B. Logs, on the other hand, satisfied, balanced hormones, clear brain, clear skin, vitality, energy, nutrient-dense, and full of vitamin Bs. Here's some nutritional truths. Sugar feeds candida. Candida really messes up your gut. Serotonin, 70% or more of your serotonin is made in your gut, not here. Sugar it suppresses your immune system, can make you wired, and really can cause the inability to concentrate. And there's more. Sugar is massive inflammatory, really, really inflammatory. Sugar really messes also with people's hormones, turns men into women, women into men. We've got men with man boots. We've got young girls with polycystic ovary syndrome, hormone frenzies. We also have type 3 diabetes, Alzheimer's and dementia, big lengths. What do we need to do? We don't need a sugar tax. We just need this. When you're reading a label, go to the sugar on the product. If it says 30 grams, as it does here, get good at one thing. Divide by the number four. 30 divided by four equals seven. 
there's about seven added teaspoons of sugar in that healthy yogurt. In this situation, a healthy smoothie, we go to sugars, we look at 14.7. Let's round it off to 15. But there's six servings in that smoothie cup. 15 times six equals 90 grams of sugar. 90 divided by four, 22. What does Jamie Oliver have to say? He's doing a TED Talk, and he looks out in the audience. He says, do you all have children? Everybody raises their hand. He says, it is your children's generation that will die 10 years earlier than my generation due to dietary-related diseases. That's crazy. Those of you that like chemistry, low-sugar lifestyle, whole food, clean food, will contain beautiful amounts of protein. That protein breaks down to an amino acid called tryptophan. Tryptophan, in combination with B vitamins and a whole food lifestyle, creates serotonin. And that links to melatonin. Happiness and its causes is multifactorial. In my eyes, sunshine, sleep, exercise, Obviously, my husband edited this. <laughs> Seek out a tribe, find your purpose, and, and enjoy a whole real food, low sugar lifestyle. <laughs> you may be born with good looks and a natural intelligence and a Dalai Lama-like nature, but if you do not underpin yourself with proper nourishment, it is impossible to stay physically, mentally, and emotionally happy. My name is Michelle Chevalier Hedge. I'm a qualified nutritionist. I'm a mother of three very hungry teenagers, a busy husband, a naughty husband, and a very naughty dog. <laughs> I love my job, and I love making other people feel good about themselves. I've found my purpose. You are my tribe, and I'm deeply full of gratitude. Thank you. to this as a supermarket and shouting, I want to buy peace of mind. Then people laughing or people feel that person's mind is something wrong. <laughs> now this word connections is a really interesting one because our kids today are more connected than ever. Of course, then when you're in, a, in an institution, people call you up, <laughs> they tell you to perk up. Yeah, perk up, because I didn't think of that. I should have a happiness project, I decided. As soon as I have some free time, I'm gonna do that.